Hey there, good afternoon. Hope y'all are doing well. Welcome to a JBO dream project video. Jeff and I have been working on for a while. Our dream, ever since we've been kind of hunting and fishing together in 2014, was to have our own walk-in cooler. But we could never find a place that either our wives would let us park it or a centrally located area, a deer camp that we could work out of during hunting season or uh, depending on if we're trapping pigs or not, if we've got a place that we could keep it. So we thought, hey, let's just get a walk-in cooler and put some wheels on it and take it where we want to go. So today's actually build day. Uh, headed over to Jeff's now with the trailer behind me. Uh, we got the flooring on the cooler and the decking on the trailer ready to go. So we're going to hop out here and start the build. I want to show you all some of that. We've got refrigeration and electrical to follow. Hopefully that won't be much longer. Before we uh, pull up here to Jeff's, let's, uh, let's do a quick rewind and show you how me and Jeff got the trailer. We got the decking on the trailer built and how we have attached the floor of the cooler to the trailer. Is that grass taller than the trailer? <laughs> it sure is, Jeff, but we're horse trading for this trailer, so just go with it. It's hard to believe we're gonna make a walk-in cooler with the trailer looking like that. That's a diamond in the rough right there. Jay, I'm having a hard time seeing what you're uh, envisioning. Can you tell me again what you envision this thing looking like? Sure, Jeff, I'd be happy to. So what I'm envisioning here is taking this trailer, we're gonna clean it up, it's got great bones to it. We're going to build a deck right on top of it, and then we're going to take our walk-in cooler that we bought, and we're going to bolt it in right on top of it. It should be ready to ride. As you saw, the trailer had been sitting for a while, so it's probably good we go through and we uh, take off any loose pieces of metal that are hanging on there. Uh, we went ahead and uh, cut off that propane tank holder, got that knocked off, and then I think we're uh, ready to start doing some sanding on this guy, getting ready for paint soon. Getting started here with the sanding of it, we decided we wanted to take off all the rust, all the old paint that we could using the sander and the grinder wheel. And uh, we'll try to get down to bare metal before we put some paint on it. In a project like this, it's always good to get rid of some old spray paint, especially in places that you're not going to be seeing it. So it's a chance to clean out the shop a little bit. Luckily, that pink won't be seen. We were also able to go over to Harbor Freight and get us a new trailer dolly jack to put on the front. It's one of those retractable ones, so it swings right back out of the way with no problems. But we're coming along. That lumber, it looks like a lot of lumber, but um, once you get it cut and put in place, it really, really wasn't that much. Um, but that trailer sure did come in nice to take the lumber home because that, that was a lot of weight. Now that we got our lumber, we're ready to start doing some framing on the trailer and getting ready for the deck boards. So Jay, you're gonna see me here cutting in just a minute, but just make sure you don't touch that cord and you might get a little shock from it. That saw has been around a long time. That was my grandpa's saw. I uh, got it when he passed away. That runs great. There's no telling how old that thing is. And we're getting the decking put down now. Nothing too fancy here. Just some pressure treated plywood. Getting a, basically just a protection between the floor of the cooler and the uh, road and the bottom of the trailer there. I've got the cooler floor kind of measured up to where we want that cooler to actually sit on the trailer. And we're going to be fastening this cooler floor down with some 3 8 inch, 6 inch lag bolts that are going to go down here into the 2x12s that are a part of the frame of the trailer. Got these going all the way around. I promise the tornado will not peel that floor off this trailer. She is on there. So cool. without further ado, let's unhook this trailer. And let's get going. Stay tuned. This was an exciting day here. This is build day. All right, Jeff. That's going to do it for that first piece. I think if you come around on this side, you'll get a good detail of the door. I think we got that first corner in. We've got the door stood up. Things are looking on the move. We've got us a door. What Jeff's doing here is he's taking the Allen wrench and sticking it in the cam locks. 
and giving them a twist which locks those cams into place and pulls those panels tight together. Got the sidekicks out there. Hashtag girl dad. All right, Jeff, how's it progressing? Well, you can see we got one side. We got the back door going. Right now we're working on the front. Uh, got a little roof panel going? Yeah, we got a third of the roof up. A few more pieces and this thing's going to be a walk-in cooler. All right, all right, all right. You see when Jeff turns that cam lock and pulls those two panels tight, gives us a nice airtight seal that we'll need when the cooler's running. This is the last piece right here. That's right, getting that last wall piece in. I need to get out. No, you're going to be cold. Last piece. Andy, I'm trapped inside. I'm trapped inside. There she is. Walls are up. Now that the cooler is actually built on the trailer, we thought it was a good idea to go ahead and pull the wheels off and get us some good tires to put on this and also a good spare to have. All right, it's refrigeration time. So what we got here is we're gonna go through our evaporator coil and we're gonna go through our condensing unit here, go through it, make sure we don't have any leaks. When we vacuumed down the evaporator coil, we did find that we had a leak in that, so we had to do a little bit of repair work. We were actually able, we were lucky to find the leak. We were able to get that soldered up, get those holes plugged up and do a final vacuum on the unit here to make sure that when we do get it all hooked up, we won't lose any of our brand new refrigerant that we're gonna put into it. Getting the electrical going here. We got the main breaker put up on the unit and we're gonna test our lights, make sure our lights fire up and they do. And then we're gonna walk over here and turn our disconnect switch on and make sure that the evaporator unit fires up and the fans come up right nice. And if you listen here, our solenoid will click on and we're in good shape. All right, now that I got the electrical complete, uh, our buddy Jeff and Corey are gonna help us get, uh, get our refrigeration lines run and soldered and brazed and welded up whatever you want to call it we appreciate those guys for helping us out our buddy jeff with the uh, old coot repair he does uh, <laughs> he's a mess he does a good job for us we really appreciate all the work he's put into this project with us um but anyway yep it's always good to have a refrigeration guy at your disposal um so we're going to finish uh doing some piping here and now that we've got all the piping done, we'll do a final vacuum down on the unit to make sure we don't have any leaks and the uh, vacuum holds well. Then we're ready here to uh, dump some good old R22, original R22 in the unit and see if this thing will get good and cold. Yeah, maiden voyage. Getting cool in here. Some ice build up on the coal. You hear that? That's the refrigeration running. The build is almost finished. Jay, what do you think? Are you excited? Oh man, that? I'm excited about it. I mean, we've been through, we've we've caulked all the seams, plugged all the holes, got this thing about as airtight as possible. Hey. So she's gonna be pretty efficient if you ask me. What's this you added? Well, we've got some bling that we added on here, Jeff. We put some milk crates on. This will hold stabilizers, mop bucket, any kind of junk we need to throw in it before we hit the road. We've added some cool reflectors on the front. We've added some cool DOT stickers so our flashlights will catch it when we're out in the woods or at the deer camp or when we're riding down the road, we'll look pretty smooth too. But I know everybody wants to see inside, so let's take a peek. Before we head in, we want to take a few minutes to thank a few people that have been a big help in this project. First, we'd like to thank Ben. He uh, traded trailers with us, so we were able to upgrade the size of our trailer so we'd be able to fit this cooler on there. Yeah, we got to thank our engineer, Neil. Uh, we, we brought this project to him on a napkin and said, hey, do you think this crazy idea would work? And he kind of looked back and gave us our pucker factor to how bad this project could or couldn't be. And we really thank him for giving us all the engineering help so this actually became a tangible project. So thanks, Neil. 
We'd also like to thank David. He helped us with our tires, the wheel bearings, helping to pack grease in the wheel bearings, getting it ready to be road ready. Yep, and then also, last but not least, we can't thank our old buddy Jeff. Man, how great is it to have our own refrigeration mechanic? Man, that's a game changer there. So, nice. Jeff, thank you for all the help. Thank you for the Psycho Babble to help get this portable cooler uh, nice and cold. So, I guess the time everybody wants to see, let's head inside. We are inside the cooler, and let me tell you, it is cold in here. I'm going to be sh shivering in here just a minute. <laughs> it's 34 degrees for sure. I'm freezing, Jeff. Let's make this quick. Right, let's do it quick. All right. So we're inside. We have lights that installed. We have electrical. Uh, we have racks up here where we can hang the meat. We've got hooks set up. We don't have anything hanging right now because it's all ready to go through the grinder, which you can see we have that set up on our workbench here, along with some of our other tools. Yeah, so, I mean, our dream has always been able to have this portable cooler where we can cut meat, but, I mean, this is a huge walk-in refrigerator, so not only can it be used to cut meat, but we've been thinking of the different multiple ways it could be used for a, a refrigeration, if, if somebody lost refrigeration, or perhaps um, somebody's having a large cookout and somebody's cooking maybe a thousand Boston butts, they got to stay cold before you put them on the smoker, so good opportunity. We also thought it could be used for a caboose with a food truck. Food yeah. trucks are great, they just don't have a lot of storage, so it might be a good solution. But you never know. It's a huge refrigerator. This thing is 12 foot by 7.5 foot by 7 foot. It's big and it's cold. It's very cold. Thanks for following along this journey with us as we have built a dream come true for us. Absolutely. It's been a long time coming, but it's, it's finally here. I know, it's exciting for us. Hey, thanks for watching again. Make sure you join us on our Instagram, JB Outdoors GA, because we're always posting there with updates of what we're doing outside in the woods. Smash the thumbs up button on the video. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and never know, we might see you in the woods soon, or we could even be helping you process your own meat. Right. And as always, thanks for watching, JB Outdoors.